We are celebrating the end of the life of this pool as we know it. Today is the last splash party for the Terry L. Smith Aquatic Center. In a few days, we'll be draining this pool. We'll close, we'll be closed from January through October of 2019. And at the end of our big project, we'll have two brand new pools for the public to enjoy. Part of our splash last splash party has been to give all of our patrons who are visiting us a marker pen and we've asked them to write on our wall the amount of time they've been swimming with RCC. And um, throughout the day for the past seven or eight hours um, it's been a wonderful experience to watch people um, write you know from as far back as 39 years ago um, all the way up to people that just came in for the first time today. And beginning in January, we're gonna start knocking things down, digging things out, and putting new pools into the Terry L. Smith Aquatic Center. Well, this pool has been very important to me. I've had three joint replacements, and both my orthopedic surgeon and the physical therapist have commented on how more quickly I have been able to recover because of the workout that I get here. I think RCC has done a wonderful job of listening to the community, incorporating a lot of different points of view and different demands on, on the pool and doing the best they could with the space constraints and financial constraints to, to make the best possible um, outcome. And it, it looks like it'll be beautiful. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. When we're finished with this project and we welcome our patrons back, we'll have another six lane pool available for them. There'll be a zero depth entry feature to that pool that will have water splash and play features, but also enable easy access in and out of that water and give us a place where kids can learn to swim as well in shallower water. It was a compromise to appeal to everybody. We have a 25 yard pool coming in with uh, starting blocks for our swim team. Um, we have three major swim teams that practiced here. Um, the new pool will be 25 yards versus 25 meters, which is a little bit shorter, but more standard for competition um, in the U.S. A separate pool will have much warmer water, and that pool will be set up so that people can <laughs> undertake therapeutic exercise there. They can come in and swim there if they prefer warmer water temperature. During the planning period for this renovation project, we worked with our local partners and devised a special discount program for RCC patrons who will be able then to go swim at our local partner aquatics facility. So people who prefer an indoor environment can choose between the Fairfax County Reston YMCA pool or the Herndon Community Center pool. And of course, during the summer months, most of the people in Reston who swim with us will also have access to the Reston Association pools. And there are dozens of those pools throughout the community for people to enjoy.